Okay, so this time I'm actually going to read Mr. Noisy. Mr. Noisy is the sort of person who is very loud and noisy. For instance, if a Mr. Noisy were reading this story to you, he'll be shouting at the top of his lungs. <laughs> at the top of Mr. Noisy's voice is indeed a loud place. You can hear that a hundred miles away. For example, when most people explode, you can hear that in the next room. But boom, when Mr. Noisy explodes, you can hear that in the next room. Now, this story starts with Mr. Noisy asleep in bed. In his bedroom, in his house, which is on the top of a hill. He was snoring. And as you can well imagine, when Mr. Noisy snores, this is a snore worth hearing. And it's not right. It sounds like Floyd and Janice performing a instant classic. It's act naturally. <laughs> okay, then Mr. Noisy's alarm clock is ghastly. Mr. Noisy's alarm clock sounds like Don Celine. <laughs> and it doesn't sound like Mr. Noisy woke up. And so this wobble tub people <laughs> were like, why did you wake us up? Oh, could you ever taste it? <laughs> And this is not for Mr. Noisy. Later that day, Mr. Noisy decided that he had to go shopping. He went out of the explosive coat, shutting the, the store and coat keys galley up behind it. I died. Bang. The doors explained. The whole wide world is explosive richer. Wobble tap this explosive in the sack. Then Mr. Noisy gets the crazy content while walking up. And so he gets the baker shop. With the door as it explodes. <laughs> With the door as this. <laughs> this is not wrecked. I'd like a loaf of bread. <laughs> Boom, Mr. Noisy. The crazy Mrs. Crumb to make. And so she trembled and then she gets the Nikes. Was selling him a lip. Then Mr. Noisy gets the three and this is not the. This is a butcher. And so he goes to the butcher and then. With the door, is it explodes. With the door, as it did not get wrecked. I'd like a piece of meat, says Mr. Noisy to Mr. Bacon. And so, you trembled and gave him a piece of meat. This is taste. <laughs> Afterwards, Mrs. Crumbs met Mr. Bacon in this cookster. We really must do something about Mr. Noisy being so loosey at the clots, she said. Absolutely, replied the rest of us. But what? I know, said Mrs. Snakeskin. I <laughs> said Mrs. Crump. And she whispered in this with the vacancy. Mr. Bacon smelled a small smile, which gets the coke. Mrs. Crump, he said, I think you got me. <laughs> the following day, Mr. Noisy went shopping. Uh, this is a tasty commercial while well, going to Wobble Town. And so he goes to Mrs. Crumb's bakery as it did not get wrecked. I like a loaf of bread. He's, he boomed. <laughs> so what did you say? Mrs. Crumb pretending not to explode. I like a loaf of bread, Mr. Noisy shouted. Oh my gosh, how did this ever happen to Coke? Mrs. Crumb. <laughs> But this is not right. This is not tasted. <laughs> They're gonna bleed. <laughs> this, is, this is weird. This is tasty. 
I'd like a loaf of bread, <laughs> roars Mr. Noisy. I can't say that, says Mrs. Crumb. Mr. Noisy gave up and went out. <laughs> Mr. Noisy tried to make him shout. <laughs> oh, the piece of meat. <laughs> he boomed. Mr. Bakerfruit does not look so much. So I'd like a piece of meat. Mr. Noisy exploded or shouted. Did you say something? Says Mr. Bacon and Topo. <laughs> I said I'd like a piece of meat. <laughs> Roared Mr. Noisy. Folks, said Mr. Bacon. Mr. Noisy gave up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and went to bed. The this that is the craziness. Okay, the next day, Mr. Noisy tried again. He tried, Mrs. Crumb Big. I'd like a loaf of bread. He <laughs> boo. Hey, what? That's Mrs. Crumb. Mr. Noisy starts shouting at the top like lol. <laughs> a loaf of. And then he stopped. And then he thought, and they said quietly. I'd like a loaf of bread, Mrs. Crump. Certainly, she said with a smile. Then, Mr. Noisy <laughs> goes to the bacon. A big piece of meat, he boomed. Did you say something, says Mr. Bacon. Yes, I did, says Mr. Noisy. It gets lungs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Hey, they stopped. And they, stopped. they said quietly. I'd like a piece of meat, Mr. Bacon. Mr. Bacon smell. My smart. He said, got the crazy Sammy. Hey, Gargan, this is not the taint. <laughs> and so, Mr. Noisy gets the bread and meat. And, and so, he goes, I love you. <laughs> okay. Then he stopped walking, and then he thought, then you know what he did? He tiptoed. It's so, this is not right. And it's not something, Mr. Noisy. I remembered Jackie's corner. When he, when she read Mr. Noisy, there's a baby girl in the background. Oh, she needs to remake that and delete that. This is just the tasty coat girl. So, Mr. Noisy gets the front door. And so he gets, he gets the front door, then he stopped it, then, you know what he did, he opened the door quietly, and so he stepped inside, and then it stopped the door, <laughs> quietly, he almost said no, <laughs> this is not right. Do you know something, Mr. Noisy? is false. False. Do you know something else? This is uh, some rip. Uh, some wobble towns of the legged people. And so does Mrs. Crumb and Mr. Bacon. The see you know something. Mr. Noisy has learned how to explode in the end. <laughs> Let's <laughs> 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 <laughs>